identity five gamers where am i going what <laughs> hi let me just cancel the dance there uh we're checking out some more competitive matches today let's go so these matches here are taking place in the ivl tournament not the ijl tournament which is currently being like coincided in like with the game or whatever uh, this is like a different set of tournaments that's not even like being run on the official identity 5 channel or anything like that or any of the different languages um i don't really know how this tournament functions honestly i, I really don't know either way we got uh, of course opera singer up here versus acrobat antiquarian wildling and another one uh, looks to be oh yeah that's right lucky guy yeah um i don't know if this is specifically like a tournament rule thing but uh, they were like, yeah, let's let's play Lucky Guy, guys. And guess what? He probably tries to get a Flare Gun, and he gets Decoy. <laughs> Woo! Give it up for Lucky Guy, guys. Oh, man, we love Lucky Guy out here. Uh, so I actually watched about half of this match. And, like, I swear every time I want to, like, casually just, like, kind of chill and watch these matches. Oh, yeah, okay. I, we thought they were going to hit by the tram. Everybody in the car was like, oh, oh, tram. But no, it was just short. Um... But, you know, I was, I was just, like, trying to, like, just be like, you know, I'll, I'll just relax and watch some, some of these matches. And then I got, like, halfway through this match, and I was like, bro, I, I gotta talk about these matches, dude. They're just, they're so freaking good. I, I'm addicted to watching pro players there. I think it's, I'm actually having a problem here. <laughs> yeah, tries to, tries to make use of the decoy, but unfortunately it gets hit there. And also takes the terror shock effect from the decoy. So actually just feeds more presence to the hunter there. Uh, bit unfortunate, but, you know, it's lucky guy, bro. Like, what, what's he gonna do? Uh, lucky guy not looking very lucky. Uh, da ding 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 ding. Bump ba da bump 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 ba da. Sorry. <laughs> it's like it's like I've been up all night. It's like six and eight. It's like six a.m. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit loopy right now. You could say, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, yeah. So unfortunate for uh, Makoto Naegi here. Uh, the lucky man himself from Danganronpa. Uh, is not getting saved before half. He's he's just getting foddered. Yeah, he's just he's just getting sold. Um, well, up until the very end, I believe I believe Wildling comes in here for the rescue on top of Pumba. Uh, by the way, I call I call the freaking pig or the the boar or whatever. I call him Pumba. I just think it's funny. Gets on Pumba again. Look at you going for going crazy Pumba. Uh, can't even harass with Pumba, unfortunately. A bit unfortunate uh, for the Wildling. Uh, and yeah, lucky guy's gonna die in the corner because. Yeah, what, what else can he do? <laughs> Literally, what else can he do there? Oh, uh, lucky guy. What What is the point? Of, I don't know. Again, I, I, I'm not sure if there's like a tournament rule thing. That way, like, lucky guy. They use lucky guy early in the game. Because they know it's like they know they're probably going up against opera singers. So it's like, all right, here's the thing. Let's get let's get our useless characters out of here. Like, if they can't use like specific characters later, like, let, let's get lucky guy out of the way, right? Like, maybe we'll get lucky. Get a flare gun. But, like, this character's so powerful, right? Just like. You know, get your fodder characters out of the way when people use this character first, right? Um, if that's the case, I don't know if they actually, like, were planning to try and cook with Lucky Guy because, bro, don't cook with Lucky Guy. It's just not worth it. <laughs> it really isn't here. Um, Antiquarian seems to be taking the second chase. Three Cyphers left. Cypher Progress not looking too crazy. Uh, she has Abnormal, I think, one one time while she was uh, kind of camping the, the Lucky Guy's chair there. But this is a really good area for Antiquarian to work with because, yeah, okay, the, the, the freaking flute, dude. Just so many opportunities to go for the disarm here. And boop, another disarm. Uh, but unfortunately, she has no disarms left, so she is going to take a hit here. Um, not running flywheel, so yeah, cannot do anything here. But able to transition into another really good area where she can use a flute. But this is what I thought was crazy. Look at that. Boom. Trump card, instant blink, dude. That was so fast that you could not have predicted that, right? Like, you think uh, she was just, like, maybe standing there to, like, just think a little bit, maybe try to, like, bait out a swing. I mean, I guess the palette was out, so I don't know, but it's just, like, yeah, she just, she just waited for that blink. And now Pumba is up, and this is what I thought. This is when I stopped watching because I thought this was just, like, a really, really interesting play. Um, yeah, so get, gets 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 uh, the wildling off of Pumba and has to break this palette here, but you know what? She changes targets here. Changes targets to the Wildling, downs the Wildling, um, and actually goes for the chair onto the Wildling, which I, which I thought was weird, right? Because like, normally it's like, well, you know, you normally want to focus on downing, uh, you know, the person that you just downed. But here's the thing. She already had damage on the Wildling, wanted to chair him because here's the thing, right? It's all for the long game. It's for the long game here because she knows Antiquarian's in the area. Uh, Antiquarian actually goes for a little combo here. Watch this. Boot misses, jumps. And tries to go again, but unfortunately, it does not get the stun. So, 
pretty much uses up the rest of her uh, her staff, her flute there, and doesn't really get anything from it. A bit unfortunate for the Antiquarian, but here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Wildling has been rescued, uh, but now Antiquarian is on the chair, and that the whole point of that was to give Wildling uh, more time on the chair. That way, like, he's dead on chair or whatever. I guess it's, I don't know. I, I, is he dead on chair? I actually was paying attention. Um, <laughs> but that way, like, the Wildling is the one decoding because his decoding sucks, right? That, that was the whole point of it, right? That way like, she could chase the Antiquarian, kind of camp the Antiquarian while the Wildling, like... And then look at that, that was insane, dude. Okay, I think it was right here when I stopped watching because that tears... Was that on reaction or was it just luck? That's the thing. It felt like it was just like a frame. I swear, I swear it had to be luck. It had to be luck, right? Like, there was no way she just reacted. It's crazy. Yeah, Pum he's on Pumba here. And every single time you ride the board, it does, the, the, the time amount that you can ride the board gets lower and lower to, I believe, like, I think, I think it caps at a minimum of 30 seconds. But yeah, it's just going to keep hitting poor Pumbaa here. Uh, he was once, uh, once a young warthog, but unfortunately is now um, dinner for opera singer. <laughs> oh, goodness me, dude. Oh, and now the only one left is the acrobat. You know, it does have some bombs to work with, but... Here's the thing, she's just gonna waste everybody's self-heals and get herself that 4k, because here's the thing. When you're gonna play this character, you know she's gonna get banned later on, because nobody wants to fight her. And she wants the 4k, right? Like, you might as well get your 4k's while you can, get as many points for the tournament as you can. Uh, Acrobat does indeed use the bomb just to get distance, but watch this. Blink! Nyeow, 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 dead! Didn't even matter, right? Didn't even matter, because she just blink! Nyeow, 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 so fast. And here's the thing, neither of them have their self-heals left. Acrobat has no self-heal. Wildling has no self-heal. So the second she downs the Wildling, it's GG. It is GG. So the only way they even win this, even if they, like, there's nothing they can do. Like, realistically, they should just surrender, but, you know, you never, never, never go up, never say die. Uh, so I guess their only uh, chance here is, like, to kind of group back up together or to get to the dungeon. But, uh, yeah. See, see, spots out the Wildling. Um, poor, poor freaking Pumba, dude. He's really taking a beating here. Uh, opera singer needs her freaking dinner dude i swear <laughs> but what's really smart that the wildling's doing here uh is just staying in the open area right good thing is opera singer gets the speed from the shadows but he's just he's just staying out in the open he is just staying out in the open here uh but puma's about to run out and bonk puma's out wildling is slow and yeah there's nothing there's nothing they can do if they heal yep that's it that is it like, they, they, what, what could they have done, man? She's just too fast. Also, I love this little setup they got here. Look at the little pumpkins, bro! That's so cute. Also, the bot again, bro! I'm so tired of seeing that bot. Get that bot out of my face right now. For our next match here, we are rolling with some actual characters and not lucky guy. <laughs> We've got uh, Acrobat, Antiquarian, First Officer, and Psychologist up against the pretty standard build Detention Blink Trump card uh, with the Anne here. So, pretty interesting. All right, yeah. Oh, she sends out the cats immediately. Okay. I guess she's just kind of sending them out to patrol or something. Get a little bit more distance. Yeah, she just went straight for that cypher. And somebody was there. It looks like it is the uh, the psychologist. That is a good first chase target. Getting rid of that stress immediately. Um, and as soon as you can. It is probably pretty solid, right? No, no, she can't really focus on those long distance heals. Uh, but the thing is, like, at the end of the day, she also basically does have 3 HP. And if you down her a little bit too fast, she's going to be a little difficult to farm off the chair because her stress will basically just heal her. Practically giving herself, like, almost a 4 HP kind of thing uh, when she gets rescued. But, yeah, going to go for the cats here. It gets catted. But got the pal to work with here. This is already a decent kite. This is already a decent start. Zoom's going crazy. And let's see. Bonk. Gets the first hit onto the psychologist. Um... I don't know what's up with the... What the heck? Why the heck is the, the antiquarian glitching? Did you see that? That was so weird. <laughs> uh, gets the cat set up again. Uh, does indeed cat the psychologist. Dashes toward the cat. And... She's probably going to get the vault. Uh, she, no, she's not going to blink. Bonk. Yeah, that, okay. This is this is going to be good because the thing the thing here is... Um, by the time Anne catches up, the, the stress will be completely gone. Uh, oh. Interesting. Oh, she's gonna use the point, yeah, okay. Gonna send the cats back over there, and just barely avoids the cat. Goes for the blink. Yeah, she's just like, I need this down. I need this down right now. And it, it was honestly a solid kite, you know? Two, two and a half ciphers, and it looks like the first officer has probably already left his cipher 
Ed is on his way to make the rescue. Yep, he's already in the area. Uh, transitioning over here. Starts up a new cipher. And it uh, looks like they take over the cipher that the first officer was on. Okay, very solid. All right, he's just buying time here with the watch. Yep, just buying time. Uh, Anne is... Uh, well, let's see, hold on. So I know Anne's like pretty decent at camping here, but... Let's see here. First officer is just buying as much time with the watch. Oh, but the cat. The cat moment. And... Oh, no. She delayed it to the point where it was after half. First officer, I think maybe maybe you waited a little too long. I think the thing is like the, the biggest thing when it comes to Anne that I actually get messed up on several times. Oh, gets the, oh no, this is bad. This is bad for the survivors. Yep, the side call is about to fall. I mean, yeah, she's gonna die right here. Yeah, see, side call just dies on chair. Uh, I mean, the cyber progress is really good, though, right? Cyber progress is really, really good. So even though they didn't say before half, I honestly think it's fine. This is still, this is still probably a draw, um, depending on how she performs right now. Like, if she can down this antiquarian over here really, really fast, then there, there's a good chance. But yeah, no, the, they already know. She already knows. She's already moved on from that cipher. Uh, luckily, it looks like it didn't have much progress on her, uh, but bonk Gets the hit on the antiquarian and now they're just gonna probably loop into this area. Oh the cat though. Hold on. Oh No, she has a cat on her. Oh Oh, ooh, ooh, hold on. It's crazy going crazy. Got some crazy flips here Yeah, she just did she just wanted to avoid getting uh Getting stunned by that cat as, as much as possible just going back and forth between that window being completely unpredictable even using the uh, the flute to do so and I get through here, yeah. Uh, but the thing was I was talking about earlier is like with Anne, you can actually get cat comboed into cat comboed. And like it's happened to me multiple times and it's a, it's a horrible feeling. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're both stunned. <laughs> they're both stunned. Cypher is not yet prime. Oh, oh. All right, only gets one disarm there. Uh, Anne has blink to work with, will she use it? Nope. Probably gonna use it. Oh, but she wants she want money for end game. Hold on. Nah, she probably will just, yeah, bonk. Cypher is primed at the perfect time for the survivors. Yeah, this is a tie. This is a tie. Yeah, I think it's Antiquarian is just... Ooh, that cat has the jumps. You see that, dude? Oh, my goodness. Watch it. And has the jumps too. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Based out the swing. Stun. Bonk. Dead. Uh, the question is, will she get greedy trump card teleport? Um, Or will she Will she just take the tie? Maybe they just want the tie. Anne is really, really good at securing ties. Uh, people do indeed call her the tie hunter. Let's see. Oh, getting greedy. Getting greedy. Okay. Oh, the first officer watch. Okay, yeah, she, she's chasing she's chasing the acrobat here because the acrobat was moving closer toward... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I do that. What? I feel like she could have just swung. No, I think she could have just swung there and it would have been fine. Wait, wait, there it is. Bop. All right. It, it, she has to down this first officer. She has to down this first officer or else... Oh, this end game. Hold on. Oh no, first officer, but you don't have Tide. Here's the thing, what can they do? Bonk. Down goes the Antiquarian. Yeah, th here's the thing, that, I don't think that rescue is worth No, that rescue is not worth it. Nope. That was not worth it. <sighs> I mean, hmm. I think I know what the, okay, here, here's the thing. I, I think I understand. The point of that rescue is to secure the Tide. I think that's all it was. Forcing Ann to get away from the exit gate and giving the acrobat another chance to like it's a, a chance to self heal. Okay, I think I think I get why they did that. The only thing is, how the heck does acrobat get out? Flywheel. Oh, oh, bomb, bomb. No bomb. Oh, unfortunate. Wait. Nah, first officer is not gonna bother. Yeah, detention still at 15 seconds. Uh Yeah. I mean, if the if, if detention ran out, first officer could have body blocked. But yeah, they just they just didn't have the chance. I think they went for the rescue just to buy time for the acrobat though. Oh man, that was close. I think another like a few a few more seconds for the acrobat would have secured them the the tie there. But really good from Anne. Nice work. Next match, we've got psychologist, patient, antiquarian, and freaking wildling with Pumbaa. I swear, bro, we're seeing like antiquarian every game. <laughs> uh, up against the detention insolence, uh, blink naiad, <gasps> Melly. Yo, show back, show show Melly again. What? <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so she gets to nice immediately gonna start watering off this entire area does not want to get looped around uh, Oh, oh, try to block off the patients 
Oh, blocks off the patient. Yo, patient needs a buff, bro. <laughs> I swear, bro. I see patient's hooks getting stopped like all the time. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say like above. I mean, he's probably he's probably doing pretty good, right? He's like he's like a he's like an eight. Yeah, cause like you can do stuff like that, right? I don't know. You know what? He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> oh man, but he's already used up two hooks, and it's so early. It is so so early. And they paused. Okay, bro. Look at these commentators in their merch. Look at the doc plush and the freaking coordinator plush. Yo, I want those plushes. Can can I get a melee plush? Can I get a composer plush? All right, pause is over. Dude, I swear, sometimes when they pause in this game, it takes like so long for them to review, like uh, get back into the match. It literally takes like 10 minutes sometimes, I swear. So some pauses have been really rough. Okay, I, I completely out of hooks and already caught up. Yeah, uh, pal drop, yep. But the blink. I mean, was that blink even worth it? Uh, I guess. I guess she's, oh, she's gonna try and water this off. Actually, hold on, this is something I don't know. When, when, when they're on the freaking, uh, Pumba wildling. Oh, come on, bro. Not the pause again. Okay, looks like they're having trouble with the commentators, too. Look, that guy just got, like, a PNG of himself. <laughs> anyway, that was a 20-minute pause. What the heck? That was an insanely long pause. Uh, but yeah, uh, I want to see how the water works with the boar. Like, when the boar gets watered. Oh, oh, near a boar moment. Does, he's gonna get watered. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, okay. What happened there? D I thought the boar would take the hit. Did the boar not take the... I, okay, I'll have to like look at that uh, in editing. Because I actually have no idea what happened there. I was curious to see what would happen to the wildling. I guess she... Uh, I guess her real target was there was the wildling. Because here's the thing. The wildling being on the chair, that means no harassing, no rescuing. And uh, I'm going to guess he is the slowest decoder. But the thing is, Patient also has nothing to work with here, so... Antiquarian gonna go for the funny. Uh, ooh, ooh. Gets on Pumba. Okay. Got some distance. Can he get out of the water? Oh, okay. That's a thing. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. Nyad. Okay. Wildling's actually just terrible against this character. He actually takes damage from the water and just falls off the boar. The boar doesn't take the water hit. The wildling does. That's actually so bad for the wildling. Like, you would hope that the, the boar would tank the hit, but it doesn't. Poor freaking Pumba, bro. Pumbo is so sick and tired of getting abused by freaking opera singer that he's just like, no, bro, you're gonna take the hit, bro. <laughs> uh, there's any, is there like a, hold on, is there like a name that like the community calls the, the boar? I feel like there's gotta be, right? I just call him Pumba. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure, what the? What? Oh, long distance healing. I was like, what the heck is happening here? <laughs> All right, Wildling is dead. So Pumba is gonna go. He's, he's going straight on the dinner plate there, I suppose. Uh, but what I was <laughs> what I was talking about earlier was just like, I, I think I think the uh, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but the Wildlings partner is just called like partner. That's literally what it is. The, the boar is just called like trusted partner or something like that. Uh, oh, back onto the patient. Okay. Yeah. All right. On the bright side, the patient was able to get healed up by the psychologist here. Um, you know, Ada supporting old Emil. We'd love to see it. And uh, the issue here is that there are no hooks to work with. Oh, gets the dash hit too. Oh, she's gonna try and water him off and kill him with water. Oh, and oh, nice work, Emil. But oh, wait, what just happened? I'm so confused. Did he did he not take damage? Oh no, I'm stupid, bro. <laughs> I thought he really got watered. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. I, I'm dumb. Um, yeah, preventing the cipher from being popped. Okay. Has blink to work with. I call just drops down. I guess she, yeah, she's just trying to prevent the uh, the cipher from being popped, making them open up a new cipher, and is now chasing the psychologist here. Uh, only has um. Don't go for the blink. It's not worth it yet. Yeah, it is not worth it. Um, watch it. Just buying lots of time here. Accelerated decoding is definitely coming into play. That that cipher is being decoded so freaking fast. Uh, it's probably also because two people are on that cipher, but you know. Uh, oh, 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 I was, I was a bit nervous. Yeah, the, the psychologist was smart enough not to try and get Terra Shock there. Um, you don't want to down with Blink. It's, it's too, no, you do not want to down with Blink. Oh, oh, bonk. Uh, uh, okay. Could down with water. Nope, nope. Yeah, she's trapped. She's trapped. Bonk. The Cypher's not primed. Didn't use Blink. Oh, snap. Okay, okay. Welp. 
This is, uh, this is still looking like a potential tie. I feel like Antiquary is gonna come in. Yeah, Antiquary's already on the way here, dude. Let's go. That's very, very smart. Um, and I'm gonna get some water here. All right. The only way this is, like, 4K is if she, like, terror shocks the Antiquary in here. Well, even not, even then the Cypher's primed, yeah, so. Now, nah, this is just, this has just gotta be, I don't know. I mean, it depends on, oh, oh, careful. Don't, don't, thing is, Antiquarian should not, no, 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 what are you doing? The thing is, I don't think that she should use up her resources. It's not endgame. Ah. Uh, no, no, no. The thing is, what I, what I think should happen here is Psychologist needs to just die far away and Antiquarian, yeah, oh, oh, oh. They just pop. Watch out, blink. Yep. Yep. Um. Yeah, okay, she just, she wanted to, she wanted that down. She wanted that down. They're both making a, they're both booking it for the exit gate. Depending on Nyad's speed, which she is extremely fast, depending on her speed, um, this could not, this might be 3k, but I'm pretty sure this is just a tie. I am pretty sure this is a tie. Yeah, she just wants, okay, I see what she's doing here. She's trying to get a straight runway, yep. Yeah. Or a mostly straight runway. Has no dash to work with here. No, th this is tie. That's tie, that's tie. There there's nothing that, yeah, Nyad, Nyad's fast, but you know, she's not cross Lakeside Village in like three seconds fast. She's not, uh, she's no opera singer. <laughs> All right, well, they secured the tie. Good work for the survivors there. Next up, we've got Wildling again. What? Wildling, Antiquarian, Patient, and Seer. Pretty, pretty solid team. You know, Antiquarian and Seer, very solid. Wildling is interesting. And then we've also got the opera singer here, Detention, Blink, and Trump Guard, of course. Very, very solid setup here. Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of opera singers just start off with Abnormal, but you know, so some prioritize the blink, it looks like. Anyways, hope you guys weren't tired of watching Opera Singer, because... <laughs> oh, man, dude. Oh, wait. Wait, this is Dongshuen, I believe. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've watched I've watched Dongshuen. Dongshuen's freaking hunters are... Dude, he's, he's so good at hunter. His, his hunters are actually like art in motion. I'm, I'm not surprised that he's playing... Uh, that he, he's playing the Opera Singer here. Like, do I, do his, it's just like, I, his, some of his plays have just been so freaking incredible, dude. Um, and the, yeah, dude, like, <laughs> oh, good, that was, a, that was some good distance from the patient there. Very, very good distance. Uh, I thought he was just gonna drop that pallet there. I was just imagine the pallet's oh, the seer owl, but, okay, it's not, it's not, it's not nerf seer owl yet. Uh, if that was nerf seal owl, that attack recovery would have been 30% faster. That is the uh, incoming Seer nerf. Uh, to my knowledge, that's the only nerf that he's getting. I don't actually know. Uh, whoa, big hook there. Lots of distance. Lots and lots of distance, but let's see how fast Opera's gonna catch up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blink, dead. Okay, I may have started the count a little bit too late there. That was probably around 10 seconds. 10 seconds after using a beautiful hook like that. My goodness, this character is just insane, man. And in the hands of Dong Shuen, I believe I'm, I believe, I hope I'm getting that name right. <laughs> I, I, I apologize if I mispronounced that name. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's absolutely crazy. So it looks like uh, the Wildling is coming in the area. He's gonna get on Pumba, Pumba Gaming, Pumba Gaming. Yeah, he's just taking hits, yep. That's all, oh. Oh, wanted to take the hit there. Give the patient a chance to run away. Has one more hook left. Oh, gonna down the wildling. Yeah, she's like, I don't care. Get down, bro. Oh, I see. She's just too fast. Okay, I see. Now. I was gonna say, are you gonna prioritize wildling? No, it doesn't matter because, um, yeah, dead. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. They're they're, sa they're saving the hook for the potential rebound kite, uh, because they were saved before half. But here's the thing: wildling is down. They're gonna have to, one, use up their self heal, and two, one less person decoding. You know? Well, one less person decoding here. Uh, T is in the area. The Antiquarian gets spotted out immediately. Careful. Oh, oh, takes a hit. Yeah, no. She said, look at that, that disarm time, 17 seconds. Yeah, she just said, I want to get this rebound. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> dude, that, that. That is what you want to do. Honestly, that's what you want to do against Opera Singer. Like, you, they need the time, dude. They just need this time. All right, if you're going to use the hook now, it's the... 
Ah, uh, that was rough. That was that was rough. Yeah. I was hoping the patient was gonna be able to get off one more hook, you know, even just by another 10 seconds, but unfortunately, unable to. Antiquarian has a half staff to work with. Patient is dead on chair. Seer has no more owl. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh man. I mean, the cipher progress is honestly not too bad. This is looking like, this is probably, uh, the thing is, she's just so, this, this could be 4K, yeah. It really depends. Okay, if Antiquarian's the next hit, it really depends on this Antiquarian here. Honestly, if I'm the Antiquarian, I just use the entire staff again, get like a super long disarm. Oh, nope, she doesn't want to chase the Antiquarian. Okay, moves on to Seer. All right, Seer, you need, you need the cut of your life here, buddy. You need the cut of your life, and you need to farm an... She hit him? What? No way. Okay, she's just trying to, yeah. The, the, the opera singer is just trying to slow down the Cypher Rush here. Oh my goodness, dude. And they're kind of just transitioning in the area. T is hiding out here near the dungeon. Um, hopefully ready to stun. Go crazy with that flu if needed. No Cyphers are being worked on. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, gets found out. Dude, this character is cracked. We talk about the cracked artist, but what about the cracked singer? Okay, it doesn't rhyme or anything. It doesn't sound as good. Does anything rhyme with opera? Oprah? <laughs> uh, wait, does opera? Hold on. Opera. Does opera rhyme with anything? I'm trying to think. I don't think it... What? What was that flywheel? That was such an odd flywheel. And down's the seer. Antiquarian gonna run on away, but yeah, I mean, she's just, everybody's, everybody's either seen the chair or has been downed. Wildling has no self-heal. Oh, you know what happens here? I think I know what happens. She downs the Antiquarian. Oh my gosh, the blink. All she has to do now is find the Wildling, down him, and then just guard, and then just chair the Antiquarian, that's it. Dong Shuen is so cra- Yep, there it is. Oh, but can the board buy enough time? Pumba, can you do it? Pumba, come on, Pumba. Game, game like you've never gamed before, Pumba. Oh, 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 what's she doing? Is she, okay, she might, oh, you know what? She's smart enough, she's like, you know what? I don't care about Pumba. I'll, I'll put him on my plate another day. I'm going back to guard the seer, yep. You know what? Play, play a little bit safe here. Play a little bit safe. Oh, spots out the antiquarian though. Yeah, they, they have no cipher ready. Wow! Wowie, wowie, wow. Those clones last way too long. And down the wildling goes. Uh, will she? Oh my gosh, it's a race. Can she rescue the seer in time? Even if she does, is there even a point? Oh, can rescue in time, but here's the thing. What's the point? Seer is right there. Oh, oh seer. She sees you. Oh, oh. No pallet stun! Oh my gosh. No, I would've just shot the pallet, because I don't, how far away? No, they probably weren't even close to farming it now. Peeper? Tra it trade swap to Peeper? What? Oh, I guess she just wants to keep an eye on the ciphers or something? All right, I mean, okay. Yeah, you down the set to car and you win. Boop, win, that's it, GG. That's it, might as well just run her now, yep. Oh man, this character's cracked. And once again, in the hands of Dongxuan, man, just, it's, she's so powerful. These matches have been going by so fast, dude. We got Patient Magician Sans. <laughs> Sans, it's such so, so, so a funny name. Uh, we got Toy Merchant and Mercenary here. Uh, up against, once again, <laughs> Opera Singer, this time running Abnormal, uh, Trump Card, and Detention here. Uh, we don't really see Magician too often in tournament. This could be interesting. Opera Singer's going crazy. Going crazy right from the start. Looks like the first chase is going to be Sans, who is, I honestly can't see. Sans is the uh, magician. All right. Um, yeah, I guess the big thing here is what, oh, broken windows. All right, gets lots of distance here. What does the magician do though? Also, what is this skin? That's actually a silly looking skin. Yeah, what, what does the magician do? He's like even, oh, oh, wow guys. I get a 40%. Uh, speed buff for using my my little wand here. That that means nothing to Opera Singer. That literally means nothing to. Hmm. Hmm. What happened there? How did they not get it? Uh. 
All right, yeah, this is just buying time. Oh, 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 okay. Um, yeah, honestly, I just just run forward and how? I guess that's I guess that's body blocking. I don't know. Well, they've used up all their wands and boom. I'm genuinely surprised it didn't hit. Let's see. How much longer can you extend this kite? Careful, Sans. You got the got the knee jerk reflex. Okay, hold on. The magician actually put it in the work. Pallet, just just drop it. Just drop it, please. Oh my gosh, Sans! <laughs> Sans, bro. Sans the skeleton, the magician. He's going crazy right now. Oh my! Oh, drop down hit. Oh, barely avoids it. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, so smart. Oh, can he get to this pallet? Yeah, he can, he can. Oh, trades. Trades, unfortunately, as we see Toy Merchant in the bottom left just soaring and gliding, having the time of her life. <laughs> that was a really good kite, though, against an opera singer? That was an almost three cypher kite. Wow. And it looks like, uh, yeah, Mercenary's already in the area. I don't even, oh, she didn't get, okay, she didn't, she didn't see the Mercenary. Oh, Patient just runs away. Yeah, just use the, use the yep, yeah, but can instantly go back. Man, that's so broken. Honestly, if she didn't have the teleport back thing, she wouldn't be nearly as powerful. She would not be. Oh, here goes Mercenary, boop. Ooh, instantly, instantly hits the Magician. Even with the illusion, she just swung. She's like, you're probably gonna come here. Let me just, let me just swing. Um, the question is, where do you die? Where do you die? You wanna die like as far away from the chair as possible. Um, yeah, I guess all the way in this corner here. All the way in the corner. So there we go. I mean, that, that buys a little more time for the survivors here. Uh, and I guess it wasn't quite a three cypher kite since the mercenary had to transition into this area. But the la the two cyphers are being worked on. Um, mercenary is still in the area. And is definitely going to come for the rescue just, just to buy some time. Right? Like, I, I don't think I don't think there's ever going to be... I mean, it's a very rare occasion when there's like a three or four escape up against this character, right? Like at top level, it is just rough. Wow, that elbow pad. It just goes all the, all the way in there. All right, let's, let's see this rebound. He's got the funny little uh, area to work with here. Oh, doesn't vault too early. Really smart vaults now. Oh, but the terror shock. Yeah, she's just too fast. But on the bright side, I guess you vaulted. So this buys like a couple extra seconds. Uh, wheelchair on... This chair right here, just the, the, the near the nearest chair. Mercenary still in the area has one elbow pad to work with here. Uh, Toy Merchant also has an elbow pad to work with, and Patient is no, sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, Patient has two hooks ready. I was looking at the wrong area. I was about to say uh, no, no hooks ready. Oh, Patient's gonna get. Oh, 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 the pallet actually helps out there. Okay, let's see how the Patient kites here. Let's see, let's see. She's just oh man, she's so fast. She's so fast. Ah, uh, patient, be careful! Patient! Oh, okay. Poor Emil. Dude, I get so freaking anxious watching this get Look at them, they've opened up so many different ciphers! Alright. They only need they only need one more though. One more cipher. Oh. Alright, she knows she knows that one over there is being worked on, and yep, she's heading for it. But the thing is, she doesn't know that they've opened up two different ciphers. Well, maybe she does. But yeah, oh, yeah, she, she's just not letting them prime it. Oh, but they're working on the last one over there. Okay, Mercenary used up the last elbow pad here. He's gonna get, he's probably gonna get hit, and then he'll have 15 seconds to work with. Either that, or she hits him and then runs away. Um, okay, gets the hit. Does she still chase him, though? Let's see. Uh, no, just moves on to the cypher, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to, wanted to prevent a potential rescue in the future here, or at least just force him to use the self-heal. Uh, patient gets the hook off. Uh, I mean, yeah, you need to buy time. You just need to buy time for this until the Cypher's Prime. Careful, Emil, you're gonna go down? Yep. Ah, uh, Toy Merchant, the, 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 the Cypher's not primed. It's not primed. And she has her trait ready, abnormal. Um, she might just swap and teleport. No. She's saving, she's saving the trait for endgame. Here comes Toy Merchant. Oh, no, this is bad. Uh, wait. Oh, that was it? That oh no. Oh, this is 4K. This is 4K. Yep. No matter how much, yeah. No, this is. Oh, hold on. The rescue. Does she have tied? She has tied. Oh no. No. There was a good chance they could have won that if she got that rescue. 
All right, maybe at least get one or two out the gate, but nope. Oh, I see what's happening here. Nope. Yeah, I see what's happening. She she's gonna she's gonna wait it out. She's gonna wait it out. Doesn't she wants this 4K? All right, now she knows that Emil's dead. She didn't want to, like a backdoor rescue or anything. She knows the mercenaries in this area. The question is, what do they do here, right? What do they do? They, this toy merchant tries to use up the self heal, but it's just gonna instantly go down. Mercenaries already use up their self heal, so when they go down, oh, it spots the trail. That's it. Nope, Merc, there's nothing you can do, buddy. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, yep, takes the hit there. And all she has to do is leave the mercenary. Yep. Goes back to the toy merchant. That abnormal, that dude, that abnormal. Oh my gosh. What what do you do now? What do you do? Mercenary's dead. Mercenary dies. Yep. Bonk. Now what? Cra oh crack. Yeah, cracks it. So no no more uh no more funny little vaults to work with here for the poor term toy merchant here. Has no catapults. That's the word. Uh, yeah. It's it's over. It's over. I guess as much as I want to say there's a chance there there's just no chance. Okay, I skipped ahead a little bit. They do get the heal off here. Oh, mercenaries hiding in the basement. Hmm. But the thing is, the toy merchant here. Oh, wait, the catapult. Wait, there must have been one that she picked up. Okay, she's buying time here. She's just buying time. But even then. Oh, down to the toy merchant. And toy merchant also has no self heal. All she has to do now is find the merc. Depending on, okay, if the Merc gets like a syringe, oh, I guess an elbow pad. Well, that's that's pretty ironic. <laughs> he gets an elbow pad. <laughs> oh, he doesn't need that, bro. He needs a syringe. He got, do he gets decoy, bro? This Merc is getting so unlucky with these chests. And I don't even know if there's any. Oh no, nope. The birds, the birds. He hasn't touched anything. Nope. That's that's yeah. This is it. You did your best, Merc, but now you've got the crows on you. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Unfortunate. They they tried, dude. They they tried, but man, this character is just too strong. Next match here, we got mercenary, coordinator, acrobat, and barmaid up against the meme witch. You love to see the meme witch, dude. Detention trump card and the patroller, very standard build for the dream witch here. Oh man. This is gonna be interesting for sure. Like, I, I think the most interesting part of this, to me, honestly. Wait, did Bar? I don't think Barman had borrowed time. Okay, let's see here. Oh, it's Dongxuan again. Okay, Dongxuan's Dream Witch. Here we go. Uh, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, Barmaid. Barmaid not running. Borrowed time. They really want the Barmaid to take the chase here. Gets the leech off already onto. I think that's Coordinator. T. Yep, yeah, that's the Coordinator. All right. Well. Yeah, they're, they're already moving in. They're all, the map presence has already started. They're already knocking people off. Cyphers gets the first hit. Uh, that was a leech hit, though. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to guess that's fine. Probably wants to get rid of uh, the person with the flare gun or make make her use the flare gun as quickly as possible. Patroller. Oh, come on, George. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. Munch, 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 munch. All right. The Wi-Fi tower keeps on moving, so the follower is following it. Careful. Ooh, an early flare gun. Oh, what the? That was an insanely slow vault. Um, okay, but yeah, it does have the uh, knee-jerk reflex. Gets the patroller off here, but that depending on that flare gun and how long the rest of this kite is going to be. Oh, man. Here's the thing. No leeches. No leeches in this area. I think she's probably just waiting for a leech, yeah. No leeches in this area. And they're, all, they're almost done with two cybers. It's actually really, really good. This is really, really good for the coordinator here. But yeah, spawn follower keeps on coming in. Gets, yeah, goes for the leech. Just goes for the leech there. Yep. All right. Let's see what they do here. Oh, yep, yeah, gets the down. E even if they used up the leech for it, they just they just wanted that down. Makes sense. Because, uh, yeah, the, the site, they're getting cypher rushed here. They are indeed getting cypher. Oh. Gets the leech off. Okay, yeah, leech. Leech on us out. The, the spawn follower stays here while the leech is just going to go out and do some venturing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess. Let's see. Uh, Lion, who is the mercenary, is obviously going to come in for the rescue here. Uh, this is looking really good for the survivors, actually. Um, I, think, I think getting that leech hit so early 
Ooh, wow, good hit. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, can you get the body block? Oh, hold on. No, down, down, D gets them down, gets them down. All right, but the thing is, the Cypher Rush is still happening. The Cypher Rush is just, who boy, it is happening. Yeah, you know what? That that Flare Gun was actually so, so good. Honestly, I was really wondering what that Flare Gun uh, was going to look like, like when, when they were going to use that Flare Gun. They actually used it early, but at such a crucial time, right? Because that extended the Coordinator's kite by so much time, you know? Wasting that Patroller, not getting down to the uh, the Spawn Follower. Very, very solid stuff here. Um, the Leech is coming in. Yeah, okay, here's the thing. Has two leeches to work with. So there are three followers on the field right now, and they just have to camp out these ciphers, yeah. The thing is, the pressure's on for the Dream Witch. She really has to make a statement here, or else the survivors are just going to run away with it. She has to guard the chair. She has to guard these ciphers. Oh, man. All right, let's see here. Uh, the coordinator is... Oh. Yeah, they're going to get... Oh, oh, careful. All right. They are indeed able to, oh, gets the hit. Yeah, gets the hit on the coordinator. Wow, very solid. All right, coordinator's dead. Um, well, yeah, this, this, is definitely, this is definitely a tie, right? This is definitely a tie. But can they push for more? This is Dong Xuan. Uh, can, can they push for more here? Um, yeah, so they're gonna lose the coordinator leech, but they'll still have two leech, or two, two followers on the field here. Um, but yeah, the last cypher is at 75%. Barmaid has been on deco duty, which is so funny because I think they wanted Barmaid to be the kiter. Uh, because the thing is, Barmaid can take the hits and just heal. And I think I feel like Barmaid's actually pretty decent against Dreamwitch for that reason. Because with all the pe with all the map presence here, it's like really hard to heal against Dreamwitch. But Barmaid's just like, you know what? I'll just heal myself two times for free. <laughs> Hasn't even used up the speed drink here. Yeah, she she's just guarding that last cypher. She's just, she just got a, a freaking follower on that cypher at all times. Like She's like, you will not decode this cypher. You will not decode this cypher. The thing is, she has to constantly, yeah, has to, has to constantly keep this thing here, or else that, uh, that leech is going to move uh, somewhere else. So they're chasing the acrobat away here. Yeah, I, I think, I think, uh, they need, they need to get like another leech or something for like, for them to really be able to utilize uh be, be able to get this tie right be able to get this tie i mean they're they're camping the last cypher really well no cypher is being worked on while the acrobat is taking the chase here and is slowly but surely depleting his resources using up his bombs and whatnot um you know what i'm what i'm curious about is why haven't they used the patroller yet i guess that's the biggest thing is I'm not, I'm not really sure why they're not using the patroller right uh maybe they oh you know what they probably want to save it for the down yeah, they might just want to save it for the down. Okay. It's no cypher progress, and it's been so long. It has been so long and not a bit of cypher progress. Oh, never mind. All right, they're starting to work on the last cypher here, but here comes the leechy leech. Leech moment. The thing is, they're all at full HP. And Barmaid, honestly, could just take a hit. She could just take a hit, heal up, run away. But yeah, he's just, he's just, he's just preventing the pop as long as possible. Yeah, the map, the map presence is really coming out here. The thing is, this is just a battle of attrition right now. Slowly dwindling everybody's resources. Oh, goodness. I actually don't know how this match is going to turn out. It could literally be anywhere from... It could it could genuinely be anywhere from a 3 escape to a, four, uh, a 4k here. Uh, gets the hit. Yeah, loses the leech. No leeches to work with. Not a single leech to work. Barmaid hasn't even done. Barmaid has the crows. That's so funny. Because she's just been, yeah, she's been constantly applying pressure onto that cypher. That's that's what she's been doing the whole time. The spawn is just like, yeah, they're, they're in checkmate. They're, 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 I guess not checkmate, but they're in check. They're basically in check with each other. Like, they're both preventing each other from doing anything. A spawn follower can't do anything because the barmaid's nearby. And the barmaid uh, is forcing that spawn follower to stay there because she is there. Uh... And she does not want to swap to abnormal or anything. She wants to keep her patrol. She wants to keep that that trump card. Uh, he's just they, 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 they're just it's just a dwindling of the resources. Yeah, the Akiba is gonna run out of the bombs here soon. Um, but yeah, he's getting so much distance. So oh, hold on. 
They're healing up the uh, the mercenary here. Acrobat goes for another bomb. How many bombs does he get? Seriously, how many bombs does this guy get? <laughs> Sorry, I swear he seemed to use like so many. Uh, let's see. Sparma going to try and prime that Cypher. It still has 10. Oh, 1%. She touches it and then runs. <laughs> I imagine this is extremely stressful for the survivors here. Extremely, extremely stressful. Oh my goodness. They're healing up. But guess what? It's leech time, baby. Shnoom. Gets the leech onto uh, the... Oh. Oh, chomp. It's George time, baby. Oh, wait, but the barmaid. Oh, no. She can finish that cypher. There's no... There's no... Oh, no. Uh, oh, picks it up. Okay. Picks up the acrobat. All right, but they finally got the cypher primed. Finally. Wow. That took a long time. <laughs> uh, oh, forcing forcing the basement. Ooh, ooh. Uh, oh, oh, smart, smart. Swaps, swaps. So that they don't get the... But the Cypher's primed. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. This is dangerous, this is dangerous. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, how's the about escape? Nah, she's, she's forcing... The, yeah, she's forcing the tie. She is forcing... Oh, oh, oh. Oh! Oh my gosh, the Acrobat! Oh, he has an Egypt Reflex, he can run! Oh my gosh! Main body? Patroller? No, that was just Leech! Oh my gosh! Wait, no, they swapped to Blink, there is no Patroller, that's right! Oh my gosh! Yo! Okay, he has no, he has no bombs to work with, though. It's over, yeah, the Acrobat goes down, but that's tie. Misses the Blink! Down, okay, down's the Acrobat, this is tie. that's tie. Wow, all of that effort, all of that effort and it still was just a tie. Wow, so much effort from both sides. That Acrobat like clutched it up, dude. That Acrobat did so well, oh my gosh. That was, a, that was such a good game. That was a beautiful game. Yeah, I would literally never be able to play with people like that because they just absolutely destroy me, so. <laughs> it would be fun to be at that level someday, but you know, that's just, that takes a lot of practice and a lot of time, but whatever. It's always fun to watch the top level gameplay. You already know how it is. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it, as always. I'll catch you later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.